Hey everyone, it's Anna here from the For Real YouTube channel. If you've ever found yourself staring at the dreaded iPhone locked to owner message, you know how frustrating it can be. You might be wondering if there's a way to remove the iCloud activation lock without an Apple ID. Well, I've got good news for you. There are actually multiple ways to do this that are totally legal. In today's video, I'm going to show you several tricks that work for iPhones, iPads, and even Apple Watches. We'll start by addressing some common questions and misconceptions like using third-party software or paid services. Spoiler alert, these methods aren't always safe or reliable. But don't worry, because I'll also be sharing a way better, safer, and free alternative that's quicker and guaranteed to work. Let's dive in. Remember, this information is for responsible use only. It's for those who own their device but have forgotten their access info. We do not support or encourage bypassing security on stolen devices. Respect the law and others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's guidelines and community standards. With that out of the way, let's continue. All right, let's dive into the options. First up, you might have heard about various services claiming to unlock your iCloud activation lock. While some of these services might sound tempting, it's crucial to know which ones actually work and are safe to use. So let's talk about a few reliable ones. Safe Unlocks is a great option. It offers a straightforward and secure way to unlock your device. Then there's Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app, which uses advanced technology to make the process even easier. You also have Locked to Owner and the iUnlock app, both of which are trusted and effective in removing the iPhone Lock to Owner message. In the next step, I'll show you how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. You have to know that these unlock services only work in first world countries. If you can't access the services or don't want to use them, we offer 250 unlocks every week for users who watch our videos. To enter, simply like this video, subscribe, and comment your device model, your IMEI, and your country. You'll be automatically entered once you complete these steps. First, open your browser on your phone or computer and go to unlockhere.com. This is an AI assistant powered web app that helps you unlock any mobile phone restriction you might have. Once there, let Nifty, the AI bot, know that you need an iCloud unlock by clicking on activation lock. Next, select that you have an iPhone or choose iPad or Apple Watch if that's what you need to unlock. Then enter the IMEI or serial number. iPhones all have IMEIs, so choose IMEI for an iPhone. Some iPads and Apple Watches with a SIM card slot or cellular capacity also have IMEIs, but most have just a serial number. Enter the serial number if that applies to your device. To find this information on your locked device, press the sleep button. Press it again and tap on the I on the bottom right. It will show your device info. Don't forget to input the device information in the next step. Enter your basic info to attach the order to your account. It needs to be real info so that you can receive your order confirmation. You will get a confirmation code sent to your email that you need to confirm. Check that you agree to the terms and that you don't plan on unlocking a stolen device. Then tap Start Process. Make sure to solve the quick CAPTCHA to prove you are not a robot. You will now get an email with a confirmation code. Also, check your spam or junk folder as sometimes it lands there. Take the confirmation code, click the button to land on a page where you have to enter it, and once again confirm you're not a robot. Once entered, your unlock has started and your device will be unlocked. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again once it's finally unlocked. So it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. Now, go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here, you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. All right, guys, here are some more legal ways to remove the iCloud activation lock from your devices. It's important to stick to legal methods to avoid any problems. The easiest and safest way is to contact Apple directly. 
If you can prove you're the owner with a purchase receipt or ID, they can help you unlock it. Always keep your purchase documents handy. Another option is to contact the previous owner. If you bought a secondhand iPhone or iPad, ask the former owner to remove the device from their iCloud account. They can do this remotely, making it a smooth process once you get in touch. If you can't reach the previous owner or don't have proof of purchase, you can try reputable services. Just make sure these services are legal and secure to avoid any issues with your device or data. Remember, while many online tips and services claim to unlock devices, sticking to these legal methods is crucial. It ensures your device stays secure and keeps you out of legal trouble. That's all for today. See you in the next video.